Facebook has many tools that are effective for digital marketing. Today, we will go over a tool that is often overlooked, but can make campaign creation and management much more easier and effective. The Facebook Business Suite has an Ads Manager section where marketers and page owners are able to create and optimize ad campaigns. Between its different features, you can find the Creative Hub. You can access the Creative Hub through the Ads Manager by clicking on the More Tools button on the Business Suite. Once you're in, you can find the Creative Hub by clicking on Business Tools and selecting its icon. The Creative Hub is a place where you can plan and visualize your ads before actually launching them or even creating any campaigns. The platform lets you explore a range of creative ad formats and templates to bring your ideas to life. Also, you can rest assured that there is no limit as to how many mockups you can create. You can start using the Hub by creating your first mockup by clicking this button right here. Once this page loads, you will see all the necessary tools and fields that will help you get started with your ad. First, we will name our ad mockup and select the page it is destined for. Then, you can choose between two distinct formats, the still image, video, or image slideshow, and the carousel format with scrollable media. We can then move on to the default mockup section, which defines what will be visualized as your ad on the panel to the right. Let's add an image to my ad. When you upload your image, you can choose the way it will be displayed throughout different placements. It's likely your ad won't properly fit every single one, but you can select them individually and crop them the best you can. If the cropping you select doesn't really fit the ad, you can simply leave it in its original ratio and Facebook will use default settings. Now it's time to fill in the fields. The primary text is the main text that is placed above your ad and has a format of what a regular post would be make it engaging and attractive for users. The headline will appear on the media footer of your ad, as well as the description right below it. These two appear as optional, but we highly recommend their use. Make sure you make them concise and effective. Afterwards, input the URL that the users will be redirected to go to when they engage with your ad, and choose the best call to action for your post. There is also a second URL field where you can input a user-friendly version of your link which won't affect the final destination at all. Finally, you can scroll through the visualized ads to the right and analyze how your ad will look. And now you're done creating your mockup. One of the Creative Hub's best features is that it lets you visualize your ads and share them with other people, such as collaborators and clients, for them to preview and approve. Make sure to keep in mind that this doesn't give them access to edit. They simply are able to view the final products. Once you're finished creating your mockup, it will automatically save and you can go back and create more mockups or focus on other tasks. Later on, when you're ready to implement your ad on a campaign, you can enable the Show in Ads Manager toggle option that's on the upper right side of the page. You can also enable it from the main page of the Creative Hub. You can then access your enabled mockups once you create a campaign, an ad set, and start creating a new ad. To call upon a mockup, simply click on the Ad Setup drop down menu and select Use Creative Hub Mockup. Finally, you can review your ad, finish your campaign setup, and now you're ready to launch it. <laughs>